China donates food aid to South Sudan. China has provided nearly 1,000 metric tons of rice to South Sudan to assist the nation through a food shortage, principally due to devastating floods last year and a recent plague of desert locusts that have decimated crops. As the COVID-19 virus has started to spread, China has also been assisting the East African nation in dealing with it. Furthermore, Chinese ambassador to South Sudan, His Excellency Hua Ning, has pledged China's ongoing support to help the country achieve lasting peace and stability. China is a Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion, Wildlife Protection, Wise Governance, and Compassionate Protection Laureate. We love your steadfast commitment, China, to the amiable people of South Sudan. In heaven's benevolence, may South Sudan be blessed with adequate food, water, comfort, and harmony. Global humanitarian organizations launch educational program for youth in Tajikistan. United Arab Emirates-based Dubai Case has initiated the 1.5 million US dollar making youth future ready, introducing new vocational educational skills training or invest program in Tajikistan. It will be put into effort in collaboration with United States-based Mercy Corps to help improve employability for disadvantaged young people. The three-year initiative to be implemented throughout Catalan province and the districts of Republican subordination will provide life and work readiness skills, vocational training, and business growth support for 7,800 children and young adults. Additionally, 231 teachers, as well as an estimated 45,000 community members, are also expected to benefit from the endeavor. Our warm-hearted appreciation, Dubai Cares and Mercy Corps, may the bright youth of Tajikistan continue to flourish in a world of blessings and loving guidance of Allah. Germany generates over half of its power from renewables. In the first quarter of 2020, Germany produced nearly 52% of its electricity from renewable sources, generating 77 billion kilowatt hours mainly from wind and solar power. This is a rise of 7% in sustainable energy usage, compared to the same period in 2019. The gains were due to multiple factors, including increased renewable infrastructure, record winds in February, and lots of sun in March. By 2030, Germany plans to generate 65% of all its power from green sources, as the nation heads towards full carbon neutrality under the European Union's Green Deal to achieve zero net emissions of greenhouse gases by 2050. The government of Germany is a Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion Laureate and a Shining World Caring Leadership Award Laureate. Way to go, Germany, on your ongoing progression towards becoming a fully carbon neutral nation. May the people of your benevolent country be blessed with much wisdom as they shift their lives towards complete planet-friendly living. Researchers develop bioreactor to convert carbon dioxide. Professor Pei Dong Yang and his team of scientists from the University of California, Berkeley, and the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory or Berkeley Lab in the United States have developed a biohybrid system comprised of nanowires and bacteria that can convert carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and organic molecules. The reactor could provide oxygen to outer space travelers while also supplying the ingredients for organic compounds that could be used to manufacture medicine, fuels, and more. The efficiency of the device is 3.6%, which is almost as high as the most efficient plant on Earth to convert CO2 to sugar, the sugar cane. Fantastic news, Professor Pei Dong Yang and researchers from the University of California, Berkeley, and the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory for your biohybrid system that could make space travel a reality. May your advancements help remind people to cherish our beautiful planet where oxygen and all materials we require are lovingly provided in God's grace. British centenarian raises funds for health service. 
Captain Tom Moore, who turned 100 years young on April 30th of this year, has raised over 32 million pounds for the National Health Service, or NHS, in the United Kingdom to help during the COVID-19 pandemic. Captain Moore started a fundraising page on JustGiving.com and stated he would walk 100 laps around his garden before his 100th birthday. He initially hoped to raise £1,000, but the figure was far exceeded due to the enormous amount of support from the public. This one response inspired the kind gentleman to continue with another total of 100 laps. More than 1.5 million people contributed to his cause, with the proceeds donated to NHS charities together. Our loving appreciation, Captain Tom Moore. May you continue your noble deeds in good health, as the generous people of the United Kingdom stand together in the strength of the Providence as we enter a bright vegan era. Supreme Master Ching Hai warmly present the Shining World Compassion Award to Captain Tom Moore with lots of love and gratitude. May God bless you abundantly for your generous spirit and kind heart. Seattle, United States vegan meat startup raises funds to increase production. Rebellious Foods, which already produces and sells plant-based chicken nuggets, has raised six million U.S. dollars to go towards speeding up their development of new machinery and vegan products, as well as increase their employee numbers. The novel equipment will also be replicable in order to help other plant-based meat companies grow. In response to COVID-19, Rebellious Foods board member Ella Madej noted in a statement, we need a pandemic-proof food system that can meet the nutritional needs of our growing human family. Congratulations and good luck, Rebellious Foods. With your talent and vision, may a future of abundance and unity soon be realized for all beings in heaven's oneness. Mega Reserve for Rescued Animals opens in Laos. Australia-based animal charity Free the Bears recently opened a large reserve on a hilltop at the Luang Prabang Wildlife Sanctuary to shelter over 20 animal species saved from illegal wildlife trade. The rescued animals include birds, civets, leopards, macaques, moon bears, pangolins, red pandas, and tortoises. After three years of expansion, the new reserve is over 25 times larger than the original shelter and features a wildlife hospital, a cub nursery, a quarantine house, and a pangolarium. Furthermore, the 77 moon bears saved by the non-profit now have special houses and a sizable enclosure containing a lake to swim in. By 2021, the project will be completed with the addition of more houses for rescued bears. The charity group seeks to end bear pile farming in the country by 2022 with the government support. Our heartfelt thankfulness, Laos and Free the Bears. May we always protect our animal brethren as we herald an era of kindness in Buddha's compassion. Supreme Master Ching Hai thankfully present the Shining World Compassion Award to free the bears and 10,000 US dollars in loving support of your noble and caring work with all love and gratitude in divine grace. May you, your team, and the precious animals you safeguard be always blessed and shielded by the heavens. 